everybody. Hey y'all. Pick your head around there, dude number two. I'm being lectured. Whatever. You guys, here we are again. This old familiar place. We were here 10 months ago and now we're back. Our dude number, for those of you who are new, dude number one, aka my husband, dude number two is also our baby boy and he's in the back. Well, he had surgery in February of this year and we are having surgery again this morning. He had so, surgery well. He still having issues with his meniscus. He had a tear in his meniscus and it's just not resolved. So surgery again and he plays basketball for Queens University. He's on a full athletic basketball scholarship and we need to get this mile, problem right resolved so we can get him back on the court. We need a bowling. Yeah. We paid for a bowler. We need a bowler. We need a bowler. Okay. We had a quarter mile. So, yeah. You see, see it right here? Uh, you know, because we had to turn around the last time. No, you weren't going to turn right into the parking lot. Then arrive at your destination. Yeah, we have arrived. It's a beautiful morning. What time we get here last time? Was like seven? Um, this surgery last time was definitely earlier. I get like five last time. Yeah, bright and early. Bright and early. Oh my goodness, so you guys, after this, we will, of course, have another six to eight weeks of recovery. Best case, yeah. Worst case scenario, another six to eight weeks. Best case scenario is Best case is what? Six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. Oh, that's best case scenario, six, six to eight weeks. It could be longer, huh? Well, they just took him back, and with the precautions that they have in place. This time they wouldn't let us go back. They let us go back in February, but wouldn't let us go back today. And my husband, dude number one, said it's probably because in February he was 18 and he's 19 now. So, but y'all know I don't care nothing about that. So we have to sit here and just and then it's going to be interesting too because this go round, he's pretty much set up immediately for physical therapy and treatment. So he will be staying at school and won't be coming home after this surgery. So needless to say, that's going to be a little challenging for me because as a mom, I'm used to being there, making sure he's on top of his meds and checking on him and making sure he's okay and he's comfortable and so anywho um yeah so once we're done here we will take him and get him settled i'm sure grab him something to eat and get him settled in his dorm room can you hear me yes you know i was mad they wouldn't let me come back there you must be getting that leg shaved I hear, I hear the clippers. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Huh? I'm sleepy. Did they give you, did they give you some good, good to make you sleepy? No, not that. Not that. Oh, you just sleeping, huh? You're gonna be really sleepy when you get that good, good. I'm not. I guess the doctor will come out here and come talk to us once you're done. Yeah. Okay. So if we get our information about the discharge process and some of that. Okay. Dad said they wouldn't let wouldn't let us come back this time because when you had surgery in February you were eighteen and now you're nineteen. I said I don't care about okay. that. So it's, it's about time for you to be going back shortly, huh? Yeah, I'm going to be in surgery at 1.5, so yeah. Huh? I'm going to be in surgery at 
Okay. Yeah, so at 145, so yeah, I see going up in a little bit. Okay. You nervous? Good. Uh, it's funny me not being back there with you, me and Dad. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Oh. Tell me what you were doing. Say, yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Look who's sitting over there eating. You currently got food? He has some cheese doodles and a snicker. You got the warm blanket, that's the best part, ain't it? Uh -huh. I know. So you straight? Yeah, okay. Alright, we love you. Please. So it's okay. in here, his jacket, and I think his socks are in here too. Thank you. Daddy's gonna grab all of that. You're welcome. All right, you all take care. You too. Hey, baby. Yeah. You guys, we've had a change in our plans. My baby can't be by himself for at least the first 24 hours. So we are not taking him to no dorm room. We're taking him home. So, we have hit the road and we're headed home. We'll have physical therapy in the next, maybe next couple or few days. So, we'll just make sure he's back in time for his first physical therapy appointment. post-op so as you can see he's moving around pretty good we had our first appointment today for physical therapy they wanted to start physical therapy uh, immediately pretty much. pretty much pretty much immediately so like I said I just after surgery I just was not gonna leave him in a dorm room by himself yes he has a roommate don't know if the roommate was there, but at the end of the day, it is not his roommate's responsibility to make sure he's okay. I was gushing blood, too. Yeah, blood. Listen. I was gushing blood. It was just spewing everywhere. 
<laughs> so I can't take mom so serious. <laughs> but he did have a um, an episode where he was really bleeding, and Mama had to take care of that, you know, and call the doctor. So, like I said, he's in a better place now. I feel better. Uh, we're getting ready to take him back to school, and but I, I feel better now. I just he, listen, leaving him at the schoolhouse in the dorm room wasn't about to happen. Not on this Mama's watch. So we're waiting on Dad. Babe, you ready? He's just coming in from work. We're getting ready to hit the road because he has physical therapy again tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow in the morning. So we're trying to get him out of here. But we certainly appreciate you all so much for all of your prayers. Your prayers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I didn't know. Um, it's probably going to be in the comment section. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. But no, nah, thank you. I really do appreciate it, though. So. So now we have to rehab, and prayerfully, all the issues are taken care of. We certainly... You're right. Hopefully, this is the last one. When I walked in, I didn't tell you, there was like, oh, what she said? Oh, my um, uh, physical therapist. She's like, what round is this? I was like, too many. <laughs> that's, I was like, that's what round is. Oh, it's too oh, many. Oh, it was the same physical therapist? Kinda, sort really? of. They remember they, they remember, yeah. Because this is the third round, right? Yeah, third round. In a matter of two years? No. Nah. Um, first one was 2018. So 18, matter, of matter of three years, so this is his third surgery. But the first one was on the other knee. The last two was on the right knee. The, the right knee. So not three on the same knee. But trying to get these, these knees together. So, okay. All right, you guys. We're going to hit the road. Baby, are you ready? I thought he was going to come in and peep his head before we close the video out. But anywho, he's Where's trying to change. Dad? He's trying to change so he can um get comfortable as we hit the road. He hungry. If he if his pappy not hungry, then he hungry. Exercises. Okay. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for all of your prayers. We certainly appreciate it. And we already look forward to you joining us again next time. Don't forget to what do y'all what do what do what y'all shake some. We gotta come up with a dance. We're gonna come up with a dance. I know we do. Yeah, we gotta come up with a dance for sure. Okay. Alright. Bye, Bye y'all. Love you. Gotta hit the road.